Welcome to this Surfray sponsored quick tip on creating managed metadata refiners in Ontalica. For more SharePoint search news, blogs, quick tips, and webcasts, please visit surfray.com. My name is Josh Noble, and today I get to show you a new feature in Ontalica search for SharePoint. So, most of our quick tips usually have to do with something you can do in base SharePoint. This is going to be really specific to anybody that has or is testing Ontalica search for SharePoint. Uh, and this is also specific to the SharePoint 2010 version. So instead of explaining uh, what managed metadata refiners are, uh, let's just hop into a test environment I'll show you. So here I have a nice little demo site I've put together for our legal department using Ontalica search for SharePoint. And anybody that's been using Ontalica for a while, you do know that you have the ability to drill into your site hierarchies. This is something we've been able to do for, for quite a while, but we've now, now taken that concept and applied it to manage metadata columns. So if you've built out a term set and you're tagging documents through manage metadata columns, this is a neat little feature to be able to drill in on that content. That's exactly what we're doing here. You notice that I actually uh, titled this Manage Metadata Services just so you can tell the, the difference between this type of document, uh, refinement category, and a more standard one that I've built out, say right here, between department and document type. Essentially what I've done is I've merged these into one Manage Metadata column. And so here you'll be able to see that I can drill down one layer deep. I can go an extra layer deep now and look at a second set of terms under corporate counsel as a department. So doing that again, here let me back out. And we can start with the department for personal injury, expand that down, and choose, say, evidence. Now I can go down farther than this, but this is just a, a very basic example of a term set that I'd be able to build refiners on. Again, I can clear out those refiners, and you'll notice that there's breadcrumb style uh, refinements as you, as you go along, so you can track where you're at. So again, personal injury, we'll notice that goes up there, and then I could choose something like judicial summary. So the big question is, how do we actually set this up? How do we make it work? So let's hop into the back end so we can see how I'm actually setting this all up. So jumping here into central admin, the first thing that I want to do is make sure that I've set up a term set. Uh, I assume anybody that's playing with this has probably done this before. But we're going to jump down into my uh, service applications. And we'll go down a layer deeper, deeper into the Manage Metadata Services. And here you'll notice I've set up a very basic term set. Here I have a legal document type that I'm using there on the, on the legal site. And if I expand that out, we'll see that I first start at department like you saw. And then I'm further breaking out each department into different types of documents. So this is very basic to set up, uh, and that's just done through the Term Store Management tool in SharePoint 2010. Now let's hop over and see what needs to be done uh, that's kind of specific to Ontalica. First thing I need to do is I need to go to, again, Application Management, Manage Service Applications, and I'm going to go to the Search Service Application. The thing I need to do here, and this is the only real trick with this type of uh, this type of refiner, is I need to set up a special uh, mapping for it. First, I need to go to met metadata properties, and anybody that's set up a refiner before knows uh, a bit probably about these. There's a specific metadata refinement ca uh, mapping that I need to make, and I've done this already just so we don't have to wait for a full crawl. But uh, I I've called this. Ontalica Manage Metadata Refiner. So let's go and find that. Ontalica, Ontalica Manage Metadata. So the property name here, you can select whatever you want here. It doesn't have to be titled exactly that, but you just need to put in some sort of property. The real important part here is to make sure that you have this OWS Metadata Facet Info mapped. Every Manage Metadata Refiner is all going to feed data into this particular mapping, so make sure that you have this mapped or this isn't work. It's also probably a good idea to, uh, to add Manage Property uh, mappings here, just check this guy. Uh, but after you set up that mapping, click OK. And I'd also then recommend going up to Content Source and kicking off a full crawl. Now I'm not going to do this because I've already done it here in this environment. So that's all you need to do on the back end. Now let's go look at the front end and see what's been done to, to fill up this, this content source. 
So let's go back to the front end here. So here we have that search center we were at, uh, we were at again. Let's go over to a document library that's actually feeding this content. So we'll jump over here to my archives document library. We'll notice here I have all sorts of different metadata and if you've watched previous webcasts you've seen me work with department and document type and jurisdiction before but this is a new column that we've set up. So I've created a manage metadata column for document type and I did that very easily. I just went up to the library tools and created a column and chose the managed metadata type. And I'm not going to do it again just for redundancy. What's going to be really important here is the actual name of the column. Obviously, I've fed this with a lot of data, so we don't need to go through that. That should probably be fairly self-explanatory. But the name of this column is going to be very, very important to me when I'm setting up this refiner. So to actually set up the refiner, let's jump here, and we'll go back to my Ontolica search page here. And we're going to go to Site Actions and Site Settings. And you're going to do this just like you would any other refiner in Ontolica. As you know, it's, it's very, very graphical. There's no XML involved here. We're going to go to Ontolica search tabs. And in this case, I'm going to work with all sites. I've created this refiner already, so I'm not going to go through the whole process, but I'll show you where everything's made. We're going to go down to Refiner Properties. And here you'll notice that I have this document type manage metadata services uh, refiner. Again, this title that you're displaying to your users doesn't have to be like this. But let's just check out what I've done. If you're creating this from new, you'd cl click add property. I'm just going to edit the property I already have. You'll notice that I've typed in a name, and this is going to be what's displayed to my users, and this can be just about anything. The really important part here is to make sure that your ID that you initially fill out is the same name as your column. If this, is not, uh, this isn't correct, it's not going to map it uh, exactly. So you need to directly copy this column name and post that in as the ID. Now this is also where that property mapping comes into play. Notice again we mapped a property for Ontolica Managed Metadata. Again, this could be any name that you that you want, but make sure when you when you made the mapping that you use the right name here. And this is going to be used for every managed metadata refiner out there. You also need to tell Ontolica that you're actually making a managed metadata refiner, so it knows how to create this properly. But that's it. All you need to do just put in a name, make sure the ID matches up to your column name, and then make sure that you've you've selected the right property mapping that we created there at the beginning. I'm just going to click OK. And that's it. At that point, you've created your managed metadata uh, refiner. If you want that to be higher or lower up in the list, you can move it up or move it down. We'll also notice that I did hide my author and file type just to make this display uh, a little bit easier for you. But at this point, uh, that should be it. And we have our managed metadata refiner on our search page. And we'll make sure that that's still there. And you can see we've built out based off of that term store structure our managed metadata refiners again thanks for watching today's quick tip on creating managed metadata refiners in Ontolica for more information on the Ontolica suite or to try it out or just to find out more about our blogs and webcasts please make sure to check out surfray.com thanks again for watching